right? So with the professional line books, you get you can uh, choose to have the acrylic front, which is nice and thick. Um, this is a photo I did take with a macro uh, a couple years ago. Let's see what we got in here. It is heavy, it's a nice quality. So first page we got it set up here. I decided to go ahead and have some of the same exact person model uh, on the first couple pages, just different angles. So here we have a dancer. I do, I went with the gloss. I'm not normally a gloss guy. I usually go with matte or uh, type of luster finish whenever I print photos, but for this type of book, since I want to show it to more people, um, gloss is more of a general type of popular for the everyday folk. So let's see what we got here. So here we go again. Here again, we're using the same person. I wanted to do a body shot here and then an up close shot uh, to show some details in the face. So that's one of them there. Then here we got another one, two different people. Uh, but some of the same effects here, a lot of greenery, a lot of uh, sun flare there on the corners uh, that kind of go on the same side, so I wanted to mirror that. So one is a bride, one is just a, a friend of mine. The split between a black and white and a color photo, I really love the way the black and white looks on gloss. It just looks great, pops really well. So let's see what we got here. All right, so here's where I found one mistake. Now, it could have been a user error, so it's a, got the up close face shots here. I really love these two photographs. But here we have a white line that just went goes down. Now I'm not sure that could be user error. It could just be that I didn't really take a second look at it when I was uh, dropping into photographs and stretching them out or just cropping them. Uh, because most almost every photograph here I had to zoom in and stretch a bit. So that could have been my fault. I'm not gonna put the blame on them for that. I should just if you're gonna make a book and it costs that much money, you should definitely look over it twice uh, before you go ahead and submit the order. So here we go. This is where I try to do a single photograph that was taken on a wide angle 24 millimeter. I wanted to see if I can put the whole photograph on two pages. So just continuous. I was worried about that first because of the line in the middle. Uh, but you can't really tell too much, I mean, besides the bend, but there isn't a line or a cutoff or any uh, black detailing or anything like that. The photo just continues on, and I really like how this came out. So that is a street portrait I did. And then here we tried that again, where I have one photograph that's taken in a landscape format, not a portrait format. So... I wanted to go ahead and stretch that because I didn't want to just crop the image. I needed to show the whole scene. That way you can tell it's a laundry mat of sorts. Uh, then we go here. Now we have two different models here. I just didn't want to have too many of the same people. So I wanted to spice it up, give us something different here to show you. Uh, you know, here we got some green in the back. And then here we have more of an industrial uh, door factory type look. Uh, so if we go here, next page, this is more for the maternity. Uh, there's definitely people out there who want photos for maternity. So we have couples here uh, getting ready for their baby. And then we have a lovely lady here uh, who's ready to give birth. And then what I decided to do was, for the last couple pages, show some, of, some landscapes or any photographs that people might like at in the format of a print. Sometimes I do sell prints. Uh, I really like these types of photographs. Uh, once again, I got that white line here. Uh, I'm not too happy about that, but I think it's gonna be okay. Uh, this is Central Park right here in New York. As you can see, the uh, Freedom Tower right there. I like this photograph. Every time I print it out big, uh, you can pretty much see a lot of details in the buildings. I was taken on an 85 millimeter on an aircraft. And then we go here, one of my favorite photographs of all time. I took this in the Bahamas before they had a hurricane. Uh, I love this because there's nobody on the beach. It's early morning. There's just one lady on the beach just praying. And uh, I really just love this photograph. It really calms me down. So that's something else people have requested to see if I can make it into a print. Uh, this is a photograph of when we went to see some, some of the temples in Seoul, South Korea. Uh, that was awesome. Great trip. Probably one of the best trips I've ever taken. Uh, love the colors here. Uh, that's another thing for this gloss 
finish really colors just pop and I wanted that's one of the reasons why I wanted to go with the gloss is because I wanted that pop some of these photographs do have a lot of colors and then I just ended it with a photograph I took in Central Park New York where I'm originally from uh, I just love the way these trees look and uh, wanted to end it there uh, so there's nothing else the back is a leather now like I might mention on the other part of this video I kind of wish that I just went with an all leather book I think it would have been for a much nicer look the front of the book being the acrylic it is nice uh, but for my taste if this was all leather and I would have used the option for the acrylic the the money that was used for this uh, might be better served if you're putting it towards a box for this book because you can get the option on the website to get a box made for the book with, like you know it might be like a leather finish or so that would actually look pretty nice in my opinion when you want to present your work to somebody else uh, and you know have an all leather book with just your name on the front and that way you can just open it up and just start from from number one uh, this book is kind of mixed uh, for the future I would do a book of just portraits or just weddings or just landscapes things like that now I did this as a test run uh, because they, uh, the people over at Cell Digital did help me out with this. So I just wanted to try it out and see how it looks. And I'm really happy with the way everything came out. Except for the white lines on some of the photographs. Uh, it's only happened on two pages. And I'm pretty sure it, it might have been my fault. I am going to go back on uh, the program to see if I did that myself. Because you do have to download a program in order, you know, in case you want to do it again or order more books. Uh, let's see and that would be the white line right there so that is it for this product here just wanted you guys to see what it looks like there um, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with this here I might be ordering more so yeah check it out